Hello, hello, hello. Go get your top coffee. We got some tea to spill this morning. Go get your coffee because you know Jordan's going to, I'm sitting a little high. Jordan's going to tell you the truth. Say hey when you come in. I love you guys. Come on in. Share it. Whatever you got to do. You know, I'm trying to get this angled right so y'all bear with me. Okay, that's better. We got some tea to spill this morning, and I, you know, I'm serious when I got my coffee in front of you. Hey, babies. Hey, Shantae. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming and enjoying this live because we got some tea to spill today, honey. We is not going to hold back. Well, there's only so much I can say on, on the Tiki Talk. Y'all know that. But um, we're going to spill some tea this morning. And some of these people are going to get all pissed off. But you know what? I don't care. And we're going to talk about Congress trying to shut down TikTok. And it's all over the news. It's an open topic. It's known. It's out there. Okay? So they can't find me for talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Hello, 14. Hello, Misty. I love you guys. Thank you for coming. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. Hey, Miss. Hey, no name. I love you. Uh, you already know. I love you. Um... Well, welcome to our big, beautiful, weird, wacky, gorgeous family. Because we are weird and wacky and we talk about everything. That's what happens here. You understand? That's what happens. Hey, Denise. I think that's right. I hope I said that right. Hey, Kelly. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming. Um, like I said, we're going to talk about this subject this morning about Congress attacking TikTok. Get your coffee. We're going to be here a minute. Hey, baby, come on in the room. Come on in. I like when y'all get me on up there. I love it. And send all the hearts. Send over everything. Thank you. I appreciate that, no name. I don't know. I just talk like I normally. Everybody's like, is that how you normally talk? Yes. That's how I talk. I don't try to change nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, come on in. Uh, welcome to my queens. Uh, thank you for the shades. Love you guys. Say hey to the queens of moderation, Jean Jones, and kindness. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for backing me on everything. I cannot give you enough credit. I love you guys, and thank you. Um, you too, baby. I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. So let's... E emo, what is it? I, I got I got a bird named Emo. Does that count? I'm just saying. So I don't know. Hey baby. Uh good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love you guys. Get your coffee. You know I got my my near woman. Y'all my near y'all know my near woman. You know I love the near woman. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I love near woman. You too. So we're gonna uh we're gonna talk about this this issue. Where Congress is attacking TikTok. I'm going to tell you what's really going on. You know, I'll tell you what's really going on. I'm hoping Gene is in here somewhere. Gene, if you're in here, say hey. I, I, I told you I was going live here in a few minutes. Say hey, Gene, if you're in here so I can see you. I can't see you unless you say hey. So, um, let's talk about what's really going on. Who don't fall. I just put my foot down and hit a chord. Hey, Jean, there she is. The queen of moderation and kindness. If you're here, let us know. We love both of you. And thank you for backing me on everything. Thank you for being my team. I know it don't pay anything. I'm just appreciative of what you do. And that's what I'm... But anyway, um, let's just say this. There's a reason why Congress is attacking TikTok. Because they want to shut down our freedom of speech. They want to control what we do. But there's also another reason. It's okay, Roxanne. I'll see you last time. You have a great day, okay? Ugh, I can't talk. They're trying to shut down our given rights. Freedom of speech. Okay, I understand putting an age limit in it on it. Oh, fine. I'm all for that. I don't have no problem with it. I'm already certified. I know how old I am. But the real issue is, the real issue with this is this. They're doing this to take away your attention from what's really going on. That's exactly what's going on. 
They don't want to deal with the real issues in America, like lowering taxes, feeding our, our hunger, getting, pe getting our vets off the street. They don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with those issues. But attacking a small little tinky tiny app because we got the freedom of speech, something's wrong with you. When, what, at what part do, do we not realize that that's part of communism controlling what people say and how to say it? Nobody pays me. I don't get paid for nothing on here. This is all me, honey. But my thing is this. When Congress and the president and these politicians are doing little things like this, attacking little things, even minorities, it's a big cover-up for something bigger that they're doing and they don't want you to know about it. And that's the God honest truth. And a lot of people are going to get mad. I get it. But the truth is the truth. You know, my whole thing is that, like, <clears throat> I'm all about, I try to do all positivity things. But when you are so attacking something that is a good thing, why? What are you doing that you don't want us to see? What are you doing that you don't want us to know about? Uh, you know, that's my whole thing. Why are you worried about some little app? If you wasn't so worried about some little app, you could do what you're supposed to do, what you're getting paid to do in office. Because you don't control us. We control you. You get your money from our tax paying money. That's you. We voted you in and we can easily vote you out. And that and that's the God honest truth. It is a distraction. It is a distraction. And if we ain't careful and, and we don't let let's take out. Let's look through what they're attacking this out for and look past it and see what they're really doing, because it's going to show its face. You cannot do wrong and it not come to light. God on his truth. You can't. And we've already proved that. So when you start attacking minorities and small little apps because you don't got nothing else to do, but you can't lower taxes, you can't make America, this country, take care of its own self. Instead, you'd much rather see your, your people be homeless on the street because you want all that money in your pocket. That's not love, honey. You ain't doing your job. You ain't doing your job. I'm sorry, but you're not. You need to get on out of Congress and get out, on, get out of politics because this ain't for you. McDonald's is hiring all day long. And you can spread your little wisdom over there. That's what I say. Spread your wisdom at the McDonald's drive through because it don't work here. When you don't have nothing else better to do besides attack a little app or attack a little minority of people, there's something else going on, honey. Look past that because there's more going on. There's something that they're doing that they don't want you to know about. What it is, I don't know. I figure it's probably going to be higher taxes. That's what I figure. Or, or, or somebody got their PP caught in a, st on, in a keyhole and they don't want nobody to know about it. It's the truth. It is the God honest truth. I love you too. And kindness, thank you so much for everything you do. Gene, you too. I, I don't want anybody to feel left out. These are my team members. I, uh, they are volunteers, basically. And... They are the queen of my moderations. They are the queen of my backbone. And they are the queen and the reason why I'm still here. And that's the God and the truth. Because I can go to these two individuals and tell them, look, this is what's going on. And they give me advice. And it put it helps me get through. And on top of what y'all are doing. You know what I'm saying? So, But y'all pay attention. Just pay attention. And I know a lot of people are talking about Trump and, and, and Biden. But realistically... There is no such thing as a honest politician. I don't care what side he's on. There is no, no good politician. None. I don't care what nobody say. It's all about how much money you putting them in there, putting in their pocket. That's what it's about. 
it ain't got nothing to do with you. They could care less if you're living on the street or living out in the woods in the tent. They could care less if you're dead. They don't care. That's the God on the street. Y'all can sit there and believe one side or the other, but the truth is both of them are evil. Happy Sunday, Red. Um, thank you, Don. Uh, but that's the God on the street. These folks don't care about you. They don't care nothing about you. If they did, where were they at when we lost our sons, our fathers? Where were they at when we were struggling to get food and couldn't even get government help to get food? Because, you know, a lot of us are like that. We can't get help. Where were they at then? They don't care about you. All they care about is getting the IRS to get their money for their pocket. Thank you. Michelle, I can't really, y'all know I'm old. I can't see that far and I'm having to do this the best I can. And welcome to the new love studio. We're not completely finished yet, but we're getting there. And thanks to a special somebody for the donation and the gift I got this morning, which brought it all together. Every last bit of, you know who you are and I love you. Um, But realistically, these folks don't care about you. And you got all these Trump supporters and Biden supporters, but realistically, they don't care about their supporters. They care about their votes and how much money you're putting in your, their pocket. That's all they care about. So why do we care what they do? Why do we care? Why do we bother? Because regardless, your votes don't matter. They already know who's going to be the next president, and they know it right now before it ever happens. You know, it's time that we realize what's really going over and it's time the people make the choices of what actually happens here. Because if it ain't for our dollars, where would they be? You, you know, typing, I can't see that far, girl. You know, I'm, I'm blind as a bat. I'm almost 50 years old. Y'all know me. I've lived a long, long, beautiful life. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing, too, is I am Jordan. Um, yes, my hair is long. And yes, I was a makeup artist since we've done talked about that issue. I don't. What else questions? If y'all have any questions, please feel free to, free to ask. I wasn't planning on being on here long. I just wanted to, to see my point. Thank you. I appreciate that. But you know, Miss Clara works, honey. Um, Miss Clara hide all the age. I'm just saying just saying, you know, I, I'm a believer in Miss Clairol and all that stuff. Y'all know me. <clears throat> but y'all keep sending up them hearts and I hope you like this video. Remember, TikTok shop is open and every dollar helps us to do better here. And we need to realize really what's going on and support TikTok on this, on this event because Nobody should have the right, excuse me, for telling you how to live your life, what to say, and what you should own. Nobody. This is not their, that's not their job. You should have the right. I don't care if you call me a name. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. I don't have to live with you. And that's the God on the street because, you know, realistically, these people watching me, are my family and we're going to destroy that word hate eventually you better get ready because it's going to happen and and then they want to like the government wants to attack um trans people and i'm going to talk about that issue now i don't believe that a child that's under the age of 18 20 21 years old should have any surgeries that's connected to the transgender issue I do believe that they should get therapy and be on their way to when they get a certain age, then they can make that decision. Okay? But my thing is, you cannot tell somebody like myself, who's 47 years old, this to be 47 years old, how to live their life. Especially when my people were here before they came. How are you going to tell me what to do? How? I'm 
grown. I pay your salary. I tell you what to do. And this is how it's going to be. And that's the God honest truth. And we need to take what is take our place in this world that is rightfully ours. Take a stand for what is rightfully ours. Because if we don't, we're going to get ran over like the trash truck running over a garbage can. You hear me? That's what's going to happen. We need to take a stand and say, no. No, that's not going to happen here. No, we pay you. You don't pay us. You don't sign our check. You take our money. And if it wasn't for us, you'd be broke working at McDonald's. But then you'd still be taking our money. Just saying. We need to take a stand in this world and say, this is how I stand. And hate isn't allowed here. We love everybody here. And it's going to take more than just me. I started TikTok to take that stand. And I know a lot of people call me all kinds of names, call me, revol what is it, starting a revolution? No. We got to take back what's rightfully ours to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Your mama, dude. Anyway, I ain't got time for you. And um, we got to take back what's rightfully ours. You understand? What I mean is that when you go vote, do your research. And don't settle. If Don't vote for, oh, the less of two, two evils. Well, if it ain't nobody there, then don't go vote. Because I'm not. Right now, I'm up in the air on who. I don't know who to vote for. And I ain't for sure if I'm even going to worry about it this year because I don't see no point in it. Whoever's going to get it, they already know. You know what I'm saying? They already know. Y'all can say vote Trump all you want to, but the truth is there is no good politician. We've already proved that in the last 3,000 years. There is no good politician. <clears throat> That's the truth. There is no good politician. There is no good congressman. There is no good senator, no good governor, no good anything. It's all about the money. It's all, that's all it is. They don't care about us. If they cared about our, us, our vets that fought for 30 years wouldn't be homeless on the side of that street that you cross every day. And that's the truth. Instead of sending trillions and billions and whatever, to other countries that do nothing for us, you would take that same exact money and get them off the street because they fought that for that and they need it. There's no sense in our money going to other countries that do nothing for us but try to start war with us. That's the truth. That is the truth. Why are we supporting all these other countries that just want to fight us? You're exactly right. We have no government. We got a bunch of deadbeat rocks in offices that don't know how to even wipe their butt. That's the truth. That is the God honest truth. And we need to take our place where it's rightfully ours to start with and say, no, this ain't going to happen. You're not going to shut these people down. You're not going to execute these people. You are not going to sit here and make laws on certain minorities that you know nothing about because you're too, too, too dumb to even go get educated on the situation. You, don't, you can't make laws on something you know nothing about. You can't. I understand that they're using this TikTok stuff to cover up other things that they're doing wrong. I know that. I've seen it all too many times in my 47 years. It's always something that they're doing that's little that upsets everybody, keeps everybody divided to keep them from seeing the bigger picture. And that's the God on the street. Uh, exactly. We need to pay a little bit Closer attention. Religion brought it on their self. They're the one that started all this hate to start with. Religion wasn't here until the white man came. 
Let's just be real. If it hadn't been for religion, Native Americans would still have their land. And that's the God honest truth. You too. But my whole thing is this. No matter what we believe, no matter how I believe, we all need to take a stand. I don't care if my brother is black. I don't care if my sister is transgender. We need to fight against this corrupt government. Are we going to find ourselves in a situation that's going to be nothing but genocide? And that's the way we're going. Thank you. It was a donation from a very special person. We're going to find ourselves in a situation to where the military is going to have the right to come in your home and just eliminate your family and you and take everything you have. That's the situation we're headed for. But yet they don't want to see that. They don't want to believe that. We're too busy being right and left that we can't come together and open our eyes. Truth. It's the truth. They won't open their eyes to see what's truly going on. Sorry, my butt's sliding off this stool. Y'all know how it is. Big girl slides, I'm just saying. But now... We got to take a stand. And every thing we do. You know, I know that people stole this land for the Native Americans. I know that. But I don't understand why you're paying taxes on stolen property. And those taxes, we think we own it. But realistically, stop paying those taxes and see what happens. Do you really own it? No, you don't own nothing. And when you die, somebody else is going to take over and continue to pay taxes on it. We are in a we are on a land that we are doing rent to renting. That's all we're doing, renting. Renting till we die. Truth. That is the truth. Exactly. Ownership is an illusion. It's what they tell you, but truthfully, it's not. There's no ownership in anything. And that's the control we need back as American people. You know, my whole thing is that if we don't take back what is rightfully ours, we're going to make... Genocide illegal. That's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to make genocide legal again on American soil. And But nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody's too scared to put their feet in the water when we get on this subject. But the truth is the truth. It is the truth. I don't care if you Republican, Democrat, Independent, whatever. We got to open our eyes. We got to open our eyes to what's really going on. And, and I noticed it. I noticed it even more this morning hearing all this stuff. TikTok, we, we want to shut them down, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because a lot of their views is true. And you don't have no, no defense. And no, no documents that protect you because you know it's true. That's why you want to shut this down. That's exactly why you want to shut this down. Because if it goes to court and all this stuff is pulled up that you've tried to hide, you're going to jail. That's what this is about. You have no, no means to prove your innocence. Because you know we're telling the truth. Because freedom of speech is in our constitution. And you want to shut it down? Because you don't like it? Honey, come to my house. There's a lot of things you ain't going to like. I don't like having to clean up chicken poop and duck poop. But guess what? I do. 
I don't like gardening, but I do. There's a lot of things in this world I don't like, but I move on. But if we vote against this TikTok ban, we can change it. All it takes is letters and emails and all this can stop. Now, like I said, I, I, I agree with the whole putting an age limit on here. I agree with it 100%. There needs to be some type of verification of age on any app, not just this one. On any app. I've had to go through verification for this. And that's just how I see it. If you don't have a driver license or an ID to prove your your age, you shouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm at the point right now is moving everything over here to YouTube. And just start doing lives on it. Because if they're going to, well, I can't really do that because if they start here, they're going to start getting YouTube next and then book phase and then all social media will be gone. We'll be dating back in the 1930s again. When are we going to stop letting these idiots control our lives that don't know nothing about controlling their own? And that's the truth. I, in my last 30 years, I have seen the most idiot, idiot laws passed. Hatred laws passed. Stupid laws passed. But yet they still want those taxpayer money. But yet they want to try to tell them what they should do, what they should say, and what the how they should live. Honey, if I'm paying you, you ain't telling me jack squat. I tell you what to do. That's how this works. You don't tell me nothing. We got to take this back, y'all, because we are we are voting in too many idiots into office that can't even run their own household. They can't even walk, they wipe their own butts. Good morning, Jessica. You know what I'm saying? There, there's just too much going on. It's, we, we're voting in idiots. And that's been going on for as far as I can remember. As far as I can remember. Now, I don't care what side you are. If you right, left, upside down, inside out, yoga move, whatever you want to do, you do it. But make sure your voice is heard. Because even right and left don't give a damn about you. Excuse my language. It's the truth. They don't care about you. We proved that in the last 30 years. They could care less. I love you guys. And I hope you'll continue to support my channel and... If you want to donate, you know how. I have the cash out up. And um, if you want to shop, you know where how to find my TikTok. And all this helps grow this channel, helps grow this and do things. And it's still got a long way to go, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's, that's my point. The government got too much control. They got their hand in everybody's pockets and telling people how to raise their kids and trying to take their kids when they're good parents. And then they want to try to tell a woman what she should do with her hoo-ha. I'm sorry, I don't want to know what a woman does with her hoo-ha or what a man does with his woo-wee. That ain't my business. Because I don't care. I don't even like my own private parts. Why would I like yours? I'm just being real. Why? That ain't got nothing to do with me. I love you guys. And I hope. Exactly my point. Where does a man get to make decisions on a woman's body? Because they don't understand what a woman goes through monthly. And neither should a woman tell a woman what to do with her body because everybody's monthly is different. Some has light ones, some has harsh ones. Even a woman shouldn't tell a woman what to do with her. But that should be an independent choice. That's their pride. That's their, that's their hoo-hahs and woo-woos. And that ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I don't want to know about it. I don't even like looking at my own hoo-ha woo-woos. I'm just being honest. I don't want to know. 
thing could fall off and I wouldn't care. I'll be honest with you. It could. It could fall off. I don't care. Don't tell. I don't, I'm just going to keep walking like nothing happened. Just being honest. Uh, that hysterectomy is supposed to be illegal if we don't vote against it. Then what are we going to do when people with over ovarian cancer can't have it done? Makes no sense to me. What, what At what point do we say, okay, stop. This is not going to be your decision. This is not. Anybody over the age of 21 should not be told what they should do with their woo-woos. I don't care if you're even 18. You shouldn't be told what to do with your woo-woo. That ain't, I don't care. I don't want to know about your woo-woo. I don't want to see your woo-woo. And I don't want to hear about your woo-woo. That's how I see it. And that's the truth. Female surgeries are mandatory. But yet, we can pass low laws to stop that, but we're not going to pass laws for men to have surgeries to where they can have sex or stop them from being 80 years old and taking Viagra. Let's just be real. That makes no sense. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I guarantee if the law was passed to where a man had to have a vasectomy, his whole outlook look would change, I promise you. Ask your mama that question, Stick. She did my hair. Thank you very much. But the truth is, nobody should tell you what to do on your property, how to live your life, what you should do with your private parts, because all this is your business and should not be controlled by the government. And unless, now I will say, there's a lot of time that there's a lot of crime going on. I get that. But I'm talking about in general, general life. General life, they should have no control. That, that's just what I'm saying. They should have no control of what we do when we're in our own home unless it is it's hurting, unless it's, it's causing violence or whatever. Now, and that's the God honest truth. They should have no say so. They should have no say so on what apps come up because that's freedom of speech. Now, I don't agree with the whole, uh, some apps. I, I, that's a whole, but if it's an app that's not hurting anybody else and it's not causing violence, then leave it alone. The point is they want to attack us as the TikTokers, as they call us, because we don't allow them to control our speech and how we feel and how we, we, we do our life. We don't allow it and they can't stand it. That's why they're attacking us. That's how they're attacking us because they know what we're saying is true. And they know they have no proof that they're even innocent if it's a serious topic. That's the truth. Anyway, you guys, you know what time it is. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Make sure they're classy. I don't want to hear this, why you, why you don't let your hair down? There's a video with my hair down. Why don't you do makeup? I don't do makeup. Y'all know. I do makeup when I go somewhere. That's it. Y'all might get that later on when I'm going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay, ask, baby. Ask. You said, Miss Catherine? Miss Catherine may call. Ask, honey. I'm right here. I'm, I'm waiting. You talking about like this? In a bun and a clippy every day, like I do? Uh, I don't wear makeup, my hair in a clippy, just like me. There ain't nothing wrong with it. You're still beautiful. Honey, you get out of bed, you're absolutely gorgeous. And the world can't tell you nothing. Because the world don't control you. I'm just saying. Okay. I don't touch that with the kids issue because 
I know, I know, the reason I don't touch the kids' these issues is because I know women who had like four kids and then their, their, their brothers or their sisters died and they're raising their kids, which equals out to be 12 to 15 kids. And I don't touch that. I, I don't touch it because I just think that at least somebody's trying. It's just how I see it. You know what I'm saying? I get I didn't, what this is, sir. What this is. You see it? Timu, 99 cent, honey. I'm just saying, Timu. And I don't even like buying Chinese product, but I can't afford American made right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I just, I don't touch the whole, those types of questions because I just know what I see. And I think that when it comes to, like me, like if something happened to my brother and sister-in-law, I would raise their kids and their grandkids. Could I afford it? Probably not. So I think if that's the case, then we should jump in and say, hey, let's see what we can do to keep those kids out of foster care. Let's see what we can do so those kids can live with an actual family member and be raised with somebody. That's why I don't really touch that because I just, there's too many kids in orphanage that are just unloved. And then the government wants to charge me up. I don't know, thousands of dollars for somebody that can love them to get them. And, and I, I don't know. I, I just try to stay away from that topic. I just think that maybe <coughs> if there's the right issue, different story. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Well, you... Just do the best you can because a kid just wants love. And I, I've noticed that with my nieces and nephews and my great niece. They don't care what kind of clothes they wear at that age. They just want cute clothes. They don't care if they come from Walmart or Salvation Army as long as they close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now when they get in high school, you might be in a little trouble because <coughs> they're going to want Nike, Nikes, but you're going to have to buy Psyches. I'm just saying. That's what the pocket allows. But they'll be all right. They'll grow up. And they'll buy their own stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I appreciate your time. And please keep sending those hearts. Keep, please, please. I keep sliding off this door. I'm going to have to get me one of them little stool covers to keep my butt from sliding off of it. God knows. Exactly. Always be you. No matter what. No matter what this world says, be who you are. That simple. I love you guys, and uh, I'm going to go. But I want you guys to really focus on what's really going on in this world. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. And let's keep our voices loud. Okay? I love you, and I hope that I'll see you next time. I try to go on about once every two to three days. <coughs> you know, I want, I want every, and let me go ahead and clarify this. Everybody says, do you work? Let me say this. Uh, Lily, uh, message me later, and we'll talk, okay? Um, let me say this. I do work. I'm a housekeeper. I also own a farm, which I donate pretty much all my farm produce to the elderly that can't afford to live and buy groceries at the same time. I also take care of three households. I do TikTok. I also do TikTok market. And then I have to still keep up with my other social media places. So yes, I do work. Yesterday on TikTok market, I worked for about 14 hours all day long into the night. That's the God honest truth. That's why you, I only posted like one or two videos yesterday. Because I just had so much going on. I love you guys so very much. I love you. And I pray that you'll keep and keep sharing. Hey, California, we love you, California. I hope one day I get to visit there. I want to go and do that abalone diving. I ain't. I seen it on TV. I want to go see what they look like. I ain't, You know, I'm from the country. We don't see all that weird stuff like that, which it ain't really weird, but, you know. I want to go ab abalone diving. Y'all don't want to got them big old great ones. I want If I'm going to go diving, I want them big old great ones. I'm just saying. I love you, Jip. And 
uh, Melane, is it Melane or Melanie? Something like that. Anyway, y'all know who I'm talking about. I live in Mississippi. I'm not going to say what town I'm from because I live in a very racist slash prejudice slash discriminatory, I guess is the word, town. So, we have to keep our, we have to walk on eggshells around here, which is not fair, but still, it's how life is. But anyway, um, I love you guys, and, and I hope that you'll keep supporting me, and let's make our TikTok family, our, our, our weird, wacky, gorgeous family, absolutely famous because we deserve that place in this world we deserve it because you know what celebrities are just normal people too hey amy uh sorry if i'm not if i'm just now catching you i'm just now seeing your lives i had a lot going on uh, let's just say 99 percent of the time i wished i didn't live here but i love the country so I got to take the good with the bad. You understand? But uh, I love you guys and um, continue, you know, to support me and continue to send your little hearts and your sunglasses. I love that stuff. It tickles me. It makes me laugh. I love it. I love you guys and keep sharing because we need the shares to add more people to less destroy hate in this world. Because hate is not where it's at. It is not where it's at. I love you guys. And y'all have a great day. And thank you, kindness. And thank you, Jean. We love you, babies. Y'all are awesome. You are the queens of moderations. And y'all are gorgeous. Stay true to who you are. And treat people, everyone, no matter sex, anything. Black, white, purple, green, yellow, transgender, gay, whatever they are, treat them with respect because they deserve it just like you do. I love you guys. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your Sunday.